This is pretty much what I carry with me every day in my purse. This is an old metal rotring pencil box, which probably weighs more than some of the plastic ones, but it actually is sturdy and nice and I use it all the time. This is a piece of cut up credit card that I can use to scrape into washes. If your wash is damp, then it'll make a dark line, and if it is losing its shine, you can use one of these larger areas to make a lighter line. Very handy. Naturally, a little inexpensive, lightweight pencil sharpener. And this one sharpens um, a pencil that has a little automatic lead. It's handy, too. I like to paint with as big a brush as I can because it just keeps things fresher. So this is my favorite old brush that we cut the end off so it will fit in here. And this is an inexpensive Utrecht number 14, I believe it was. Nice big round. Very handy brush and also it's cut off but into a point so that I can scrape with it or draw with it if I want to, dipping it in watercolor paper. Uh, in watercolor, Brr. a um, uh, oil painter's bristle brush that I can spatter with or scrub with or make all kinds of things. And I've sharpened the end of it too, but with a knife this time to get a different kind of effect. This was a little garden stake that I sharpened to make uh, a bamboo pin. This one may or may not stay in the kit. It has a very chisel edge um, uh, nylon bristles and you can scrape with it and lift and remove color as long as you blot it quickly. And this is my new baby. It's a Connoisseur Polinsky, uh, Kolinsky, sorry, um, number eight I believe, pocket brush. Red Sable, wow, wow, wow. Comes to a wonderful point. And this is the little tool that I've been using quite a bit lately. It is, uh, well it was, an old Waterman, antique Waterman pen that didn't have a um, cap on it anymore. And I actually bought it for the nib, which I took out of this and put into a Noodles, Noodler's um, Creeper pen. But it turns out that I use it more with this. This is an old drawing pen, dip pen nib that is in fact kind of corroded and um, I use it a lot for making delicate lines in my paintings and sketches. And believe it or not, it all fits right inside. The little um, antique waterman is what I used for the fine lines up here in the trees and also some of the dark ones. For the light lines, I made a thinned out uh, gouache and loaded the nib with it and then drew with it. And for these, I just loaded the pen with watercolor with a brush, you know, a separate brush like, hmm, hang on a second. Filled my brush with paint and then loaded the nib that way rather than make enough to dip it. And then drew the fine lines also for these little grass bits. Works great.